people are sending me <clears throat> my face on things. Oh, shout out Cabell for the merch. <laughs> Be sure to get your VV Ecomi and Omi merch at CavelAnderson.com. Our primary line will always be available while our limited edition section will only ever have 100 items total and will never be sold again. Get it while supplies last. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, and this one is going to be a really, really good topic. So in this one, we're going to be talking about the 10 most valuable collectibles on vv we're going to be going over grails and what, what i feel is grails and blue chips and some of the some of the ones that i'm looking out for and some of the ones that i think is going to be super super valuable in the future and my list may shock you from a lot of others because a lot of people have different opinions different perspectives um, obviously th this space is not established no one actually knows for certain what's going to happen but i mean we we all just see things different ways some people cling to the side of scarcity thinking that scarcity is king Maybe it turns out that scarcity is king. I'm not one of the people that believes scarcity is king. So yeah, my list is going to reflect that. So um, yeah, before we jump into it, be sure to drop a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on notifications so you stay updated. And let's actually jump into some of the collectibles that I feel is really, really good. But I will say one thing that may shock you is Donnie. Donnie is not on my list. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that Donnie is sustainable because he's not a strong enough IP. I think realistically, the reason that people are not on OpenSea and people are on VV is because of the IP, the brands, the notoriety. You know what these brands are. You know why they're valuable. You know why someone would want to buy that off of you. You know the reason for that. These Donnie's sit around for worth 100K and don't go anywhere because what the heck is a Donnie? I mean, yeah, it's super scarce, but what is a Donnie? Like, I watched Powerpuff Girls my whole life growing up, and I didn't like I, I never heard of Donnie, but but I from what I hear, he's a newer character. But yeah, I mean, it's just that simple. Like, even though he's super, super scarce, and yeah, that's that's cool. It's not it's not a character that anyone cares about. So that's why he wouldn't make my list personally. So just because of what you have to understand is the reason that Donnie became king is because Donnie started blowing up when VV first came out. When VV first came out, we never knew what VV was going to become. It was early on and everybody who was investing in VV was coming over from something like OpenSea. So they're coming over from something like OpenSea and it's all about scarcity there. And then you look on the VV app and Donnie is the most scarce thing. It was just a no brainer like at that point to, to follow, you were going to follow the OpenSea way. You were going to follow what was popular in the NFT space. I think VV introducing IP and this level of IP is going to change that narrative, the whole scarcity thing. And it's going to be more so about value and IP and what these brands actually mean and represent to real people around the world. So yeah, that being said, that, that, that was a long explanation as to why Donnie is not on this list. <laughs> um, also, you're not going to see any pride. Um, I just feel like, um, yeah, I just, I just not, I'm not going to put that on this list. Like that, that's, just, that's just it. I think these brands... Like these brands are universal and it's just something that everybody loves. Like, so yeah, that being said, we're going to jump straight in and yeah, starting off, we're going to go real simple with it. Secret Rare Spider-Man. Secret Rare Spider-Man is the top of my list because it, this is really the first license from Disney. It's not licensed under Disney, but this is a Disney brand. Obviously, this is the first time we've seen Marvel on the blockchain. First time we've seen something from Disney on the blockchain. Um, this is only a thousand editions. Yeah, I mean, this it's just, this piece is super, super valuable for so many different reasons, man. Um, and also, if you want to look at, um, let me see, here we go. Yeah, if you want to actually look at some of the most most profitable and famous brands in the world, Spider-Man is right up there. Like, and this is in terms of grossing, how much money these companies are making off this brand. So Spider-Man has grossed 31 billion. He's on this list of, of top, top brands. So... I mean, that was a no-brainer to put on this list. Next, we have Walt and and uh, Walt, Walt and Mickey, of course. Walt and Mickey, like, we know what Disney is. Disney is a freaking powerhouse out here. So, so to have Walt, the one who made, I obviously got Disney to where it's at, and then to have Mickey, the, the face of Disney, like, I mean, come on now. Those two combined, that partner statue, it, that's, a, that's a beautiful piece, man. Then the, the gold looks amazing. Yeah, that, that's that's just a beautiful piece. That that is a true grail, and that this one, this piece in particular, has the potential to be the number one piece on VV. 
it has the potential to be the number one piece on VV. Um, fighting with the next one that we're going to cover on this list, which is going to be the Todd Batman. Now, um, <clears throat> the reason that Todd, like I have Todd on this list, and, and, and fun fact, I actually don't have Rizzo on this list. I have Todd on this list because I, I'm just, I just want you all to notice the, the way that I think. The way that I see things is just because something is hot right now, when I'm, I'm an investor, that means I invest now for the future. When I'm investing my money, I'm, it's not stuff that I'm expecting to happen in the short term. I'm expecting something long term. So long term, I don't think scarcity is going to be as big of a deal. I think what the piece actually is is what's going to bring that value. And when it comes down to Todd, this was the very first. This was the very first Batman ever minted on the blockchain. This is the very first Batman NFT. Period. Todd. Todd is the very first. He he is he is where it started. Um. And yeah. So so Todd is the first. NFT collectible on VV. Todd is the first. Like it's not not just the first Batman, but the first NFT. Period. This is the first thing VV ever made. So yeah, Todd, you gotta um gotta throw Todd on here. You gotta give Todd his respect. And then Batman. Batman is one of those brand brands that's super um super profitable as well. Super um uh, famous as well. Look at this Batman. Batman. He he brought in twenty seven billion. So yeah, ba Batman is on made that list as well. I also have another list pulled up here the most famous superheroes in the world. Look at this. Obviously, Batman is on this list. You got Spider-Man on this list as well. Um, <clears throat> next, this is one that may shock people, but I don't think that it should, but this is one that, that may shock some people. I, I'm gonna go with Elsa. Elsa is very, very important for this list, but I don't think a lot of people actually know how impactful Elsa is. People would say, oh, that's just that, that's just that princess that little girls like. It's a reason out of every princess in the world that Disney could have gone with, they made the golden moments Elsa. It's a reason for that. And um, let's actually, let's go here. So check this out. If you look on this list right here, I tweeted it out a couple of days ago. If you look on this list right here, you'll see, look at this. Let, let's see uh, Frozen. Frozen right here, and then Frozen is down there at number 11 again. So Frozen is on this list. Look what it's surrounded by. Avengers, Star Wars, Avengers, The Lion King, The, the, the Avengers. Uh, again, like literally Elsa is the, I mean, Frozen is the only new school thing here surrounded by all these legends in, in the box office. Then if you go to the animated side, the animated highest grossing, Frozen, both of Frozen is at the two and three spot. Lion King is just out here killing it. Shout out to Lion King. So I guess we know what, that's going to be a super valuable one when that comes out. But Frozen is literally like, look at this. It's over Toy Story 4, Toy Story 3, Despicable Me, Despicable, Despicable Me, like the original Lion King, Finding Nemo, Shrek. Like you, you look at the, listen to the, the the caliber of these brands that Frozen is just absolutely destroying. And it, it didn't just destroy them once. The first movie destroyed it and then the second movie destroyed it as well. It's like Elsa is out here killing it, man. And then if you look on YouTube at, at Elsa's views or Frozen's views compared to anything else, you compare it to a, you can compare it to Avengers. You compare it to Mickey Mouse. You can compare it to whatever you want to compare it to. None, nothing from Disney gets as many views as Elsa and as Frozen. So, I mean, that's just all stuff that you have to consider. This this character's popularity is insane. And one thing, one other thing we're going to go to is this right here. Disney made more money from Frozen merch merchandising and licensing than in the box office. And exploiting this area is hugely profitable, taking an impressive $107.2 billion since its release. Now, when, when the first Frozen first came out, there was a bunch of articles. You can look this up on, um, on Google for yourself. When, when the first Frozen came out, there was a bunch of articles about why Frozen was going to be a billion dollar brand. And, and, and there was, there was, it was something called the Frozen effect that people were talking about because of what how frozen was really impacting Disney's revenue. And this is why this is why um she's she's a golden moment. No brand has done this for Disney the way that Elsa came out and did this, the way that um Frozen came out and did this. So this is why this this is this is super important. And I don't think a lot of people actually realize how impactful this character is for Disney. So yeah, I just had to throw this on here because yeah, this is not something that you can really sleep on. This is this is yeah. <clears throat> Elsa is really one of them. So yeah, here we go right here, Superman. Now, as you can see on this list, he's number five. Now, the reason that I put him on this list, and because and th full disclosure, Iron Man is not even on this list. I would have stopped at these, these top three right here, 
but <clears throat> the reason that I put Superman on this list, if you didn't see my video a couple of days ago, I actually broke down why Superman, I think is a contender for one of the most, one of the most um, profitable IP that, that that's dropped, that's on VV this year. I think Superman is gonna perform one of the, be one of the best performers this year. Um, one of the most profitable investments. That's what I think. Because if you look on 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 um like Netflix, the um the CW, if you look on if you look at what DC has dropped right now, there's like five different shows with Superman with Superman on it. Also, there's uh, uh like his son. There's news on his son being part of the LGBTQ community as well. Like like it's a lot. It's a lot of su It's a big Superman push happening right now. It's a very very big Superman push right now. And the fact that they made his son um LGBTQ. It's, it lets you know that they're up to date with current things and what's going on. And also they're planning for a, a future for this character. They're planning for a good future and Superman's son is gonna represent um, the, the, the culture. So yeah, I think Superman is gonna, is gonna be, become a lot more popular. Um, it's gonna become a lot more popular. Then Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is, is, is one, of the most, one of the most famous brands in the world. The only thing that's beaten Wonder Woman is Spider-Man. And Spider-Man is just beating everything by a lot. But Wonder Woman is, is is out here destroying too. Wonder Woman is, is going crazy. So um yeah, Wonder Woman is a very, very valuable piece. It's one that that's very cheap right now on VV, actually, in comparison to Wonder Woman's actual status. As you can see, like the status, like she's not uh she's not a, a Spider-Man, but she's not a she she's not anything else under that either. Like, it's like she's really she's really out here. So um yeah. I had to throw Wonder Woman on here. Let's really look. Look at this. Wonder Woman literally Look at what Wonder Woman got. The Spider Man just taking a little bit of everything, but Wonder Woman. Look at this. You got Marvel, DC. You got a whole little map here. I like this. This is a lot of information here. But um, yeah. Let's see what else we got here. Um, next we have R two D two. R two D two. Don't sleep on Star Wars, man. Don't sleep like sixty nine billion dollars. Sixty nine billion. R two D two is definitely a grail piece. This is going to be very, very profitable for, for some people who invest in this. Um, in my opinion, I mean, th this is legendary. You know what? You know what Star Wars is, man. You know what Star Wars is. So yeah, had to had to throw that on this list. Had to throw the Star Wars on this list. Everyone knows Star Wars. And R two D two R two D two is is one of the most memorable characters from Star Wars. I mean, R two D two the only thing overpowering that is like your Luke, Darth Vader, Darth Vader, Yodas. Like the, that's what's overpowering R two D two. R two D two is a staple. So um, <clears throat> yeah. Next we have Steamboat Willie. As you can see, Mickey Mouse and Friends, and this is where it all started. This whole Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie is where it all started. This is where Mickey Mouse began. So this eighty two billion dollar legacy, it all started with Steamboat um Willie. This is that's how monumental this piece is. The Walt and Disney, that's next level. That's like God tier. But right under that tier, this is where it all began with this piece. This Steamboat Willie piece is, is, is ridiculous. It, it's it's like, it's gonna be right around there. It's gonna be right around that wall underneath in my opinion, but it's gonna be around it. So yeah, don't sleep on that piece. Um, Then this one may be one that catches people off guard. I don't know if you all are gonna, um, I just did a video reacting to some, some information on this, but Ultraman. This is probably a grail that a lot of people don't have as a grail. But what some of these heroes are to our countries, look at this. What what some of these heroes are to our countries, this is what um Ultraman is to China and, and, and Asia. You know how big that country is, right? Like you know how big China and Asia is, right? Like you like it's massive. So for for like these, like look at if you search Spider-Man and China. If you search any of these brands in China, it's very, very small. Not a lot comes up, but if you search Ultraman, it's next level. Like this, it, he's literally, he's literally top tier in, in, in that country. And I think that it's monumental for that reason. Also, this is the first appearance of Ultraman in NFT format. And this is the very first thing on the, on the VV app that literally represents the Asian culture. The very first, the very first collectible the character that that's that um yeah that represents the asian culture like this is this is literally their this is their tide this is asia's tide ultraman is asia's tide in my opinion so don't sleep on that piece next we have the uss enterprise man 
it, it's always neck and neck when it comes down to start the, the trackies and then star wars and things like that it's always be neck and neck but this has a little this has a cult community a cult following and they really really love um they really love star trek obviously so this is one of those pieces that can't be overlooked this in the enterprise even though it's it, it was off to a slow start that let's not take away from the fact when when you have star trek fans who come on this um excuse me yo when you have star trek fans who come on this platform and they want a um and they want some star trek the very first star trek piece ever is still that um uss enterprise so how to throw that on the list last but not least here last but not least these u.s stamps this is the monumental this is historic this is one of those things where you go to school you, like this is the stuff that gets taught in classrooms because of how impactful nfts are going to be on the world and how it's going to change our everyday life and everything is going to be built on nfts this is something that they're going to be talking about in economics class this is something that's going to be taught nfts and the very first nfts from the u.s government was was from vv so like the don't don't sleep on the the very first stamp collection man don't sleep on that collection because that is literally stuff that can be written in a history book i'm not like in, in the next 10 years that's going to be taught in world history so yeah i mean that being said this is my list this is some of my thoughts and my logic and reasoning why let me know what you all think in the comment section down below um hopefully this kind of changed your mindset and perspective i know everybody doesn't have to believe and think the same way and same things but i do just like to put my perspective out there for you all just so you can like think different like when you hear somebody say something that's completely unorthodox and you don't hear it before it makes you stop and think like does, does he got a point like like let me think about this from a different perspective because if you only think about things your way you you you, ne you never grow from that you already know how you think it's you learn much more when you listen to somebody else so that being said leave me in the comment section your your perspective what would be your grails what, what would be your grails what would be some things that you would think is going to just be those pieces that go crazy because i know my list is probably going to be different from quite a few of you all so yeah that being said be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe turn on notifications so you stay updated and yeah i'm gonna catch you all on the next one peace out joe